Hello everyone, today I'll lead Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda and Cars and Bolt and Viking Adventure. First, first Viking Adventure. Okay, here we go. Ruth and Wilma came to the door. 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 It was time to go to school. Keeper told everyone about his adventure at Teddy Bear's picnic, but and nobody believed him. Beef Chip and Whip were in Mr. Jones' class. The children liked Mr. Mr. Johnson. He he made everything interesting and he told lots of good stories. Mr. Johnson had a model ship. Can you tell me what sort of ship this is? He asked. Bill put up his put up his hand. It's a Viking ship, he said. Well done, Wilf, said Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson showed the children picture of a Viking ship. The ship was called Long Ship, he said. It had oars and a sail and it moved very fast down the water. The Viking lived a long time ago. Mr. Johnson said, Mr. Johnson, they crossed the sea in ship, ships like this. Mr. Johnson showed the children a Viking helmet and a Viking sh shield. Mr. Johnson helped the children with a Viking project. It was very interesting. They made model room ship and they made Viking shield and helmet. Mr. Johnson took the children into a school. School hall. They made a big room ship. They then they are they are dressed up as Viking and pro pretended to row it. It's hard work picking a viking, said Beef. There was no wind. Ah, no, no, no. The children came home. Came home from school. They looked at the magic key. They wanted it to glow because it had not glowed for a long time. People told them about his magic adventure, but still nobody believed him. Keeper was upset. The magic glowed in the night, she said. It glowed when it was dark. It did, it did, it did. We looked at the key. I wonder, she said. Beef had a good idea. Maybe the key will glow in the dark, she said. She got a torch and then she found a big, thick blanket. The children sat on the floor and they pulled the blanket over themselves. It was dark under the blanket. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic, magic was working after all. It told you so, said that keeper. There was was no wind. The the Viking rode the wrong ship across the sea. Every man pulled on the oars. It was hard work be, being a Viking. Suddenly, the wind began to blow. Hooray! said Viking. Now we can put up the sail. The med the wind can blow. Blow ship. Blow the ship around and we won't have to work so hard. The Viking 
Ah, uh, no, no, no. One of the Viking heard a noisy. He wanted to look. He found the children. Oh no, said Wolf. We're on a Viking wrong ship. I don't believe it. The Viking jumped back. He can't believe in ears. Hear her. He looked very fierce. Oh dear, said the Keeper. We don't look pleased to see us. The Viking pushed jump pushed the children to the back of the wrong ship. Look at our death animals. Look at look at our death animals, said the Keeper. I don't like it here. It smells the, the wind began to blow hard. Harder, the Viking put up the sail. The wind blew harder, and the, and the ship tossed up, up and down. The head, the waves splashed over the children. The they got cold and wet. Keeper began, to, began to feel sick. It's not much for on a long ship. He said, "I lost the wrong ship. Landed! Hooray!" shouted, "Hooray!" shouted the Vikings. They jumped into the water and carried boxes and barrels to the shore. Sure, the children looked over the side of the wrong wrong ship. I hope we don't have jumped in," said Kiefer. "You look cold and wet." You don't have to jump in," said the Viking. "I'll throw you in." The children waded the shore. The the villagers were amazed. Amazed. They had never seen children like this before. Keeper had some sweets. He showed he showed them with the Viking children. They had. Never seen sweets before. They didn't know what to do with them. The Viking, Viking took the children into wrong hell. A fire was burning in the middle, middle of the floor. There was was smoke everywhere. It began to get. Dark and soon it was time to go. Time to have some food. So this is what Viking eat," said Wolf. As soon as it was dark, a wrong ship sailed sailed close to the shore. Long on the wrong ship were some Viking ride riders. They they were going to. Attack the village. One of the villagers saw the wrong ship and ran into the wrong hill. Help! 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 He called. Riders are landing. The riders looked very fierce. They ran through Toast village. They are going attack," said Wolf. "What can, what can we do?" "I wish the magic would glow," said Keeper. Beef had an idea. She shone, shone her torch. The t- raiders, rider, raid, raiders, and village villagers had never seen a right like this before. They were frightened and they are fell to the ground. The riders ran back to their own ship and sailed away. Hooray! said the villagers. They won't come back here in a hurry. The the Vikings look at the beef's torch. This is a magic thing, they said. He frightened us, but he was f- frightened the riders. Later, 
even more and it saved our village. The villagers lit a big big for beach. The, they had a party for children. They gave Biff a shield. Thank you, said Thank you, said Biff. It's beautiful. Beef wanted to give to Torch the village, but Whip told her, her not to. The magic began to glow. It was time for the adventure to end. Beef showed Viking shirt to Mr. Johnson. It's very good, said Miss, Mr. Johnson. But Viking shirt didn't look like this. Beef looked at Whiff and smiled. Whiff and smiled. Next book, Bolt. Okay, here we go. Meet Pen, Penny and her dog, Bolt. Meet Penny and her dog, Bolt. Bolt is a special dog. He has superpower. Penny, Bo Penny and Bolt go on lots of missions. No, no matter what, Bolt always saves Penny. Now they must save Penny's father, Dr. Colico captures him. He was an evil cat. He has an evil cat. cat. Dr. Colico kidnaps Penny, but this time Bolt cannot save her. Bolt tries to find Penny. Instead, he, he gets trapped in a box. He is built far, far away. Bolt finally escapes. He is in a new city. He tries to rescue Penny again. Where co could she be? Mean Meanwhile, while Bolt meets a cat called Mittens, Bolt is sure that Mittens works for Dr. Colico. Where is Penny Girl? Bolt wants Mittens to take him to Dr. Colico. Mittens pretends to help Bolt, but she thinks he he is crazy. Bolt and Mittens meet a hamster called Leo. You're Bolt, you're my hero. Bolt doesn't understand. Now can Leo can know him? Mittens tells Bolt, you're not a real hero. You're only a he hero on TV. Just then, the animal control truck arrives. Uh oh, the truck takes Bolt and Mittens away. Morton tries to get free on, on seeing superpowers. Nothing works. Reno climbed onto, onto the truck. He unlocks Bolt's door. Rhino saves Bolt. Bolt finally knows the turn. He is he is hero only in a TV show. He has no superpowers. He is sad. Without superpowers, Bolt and Rhino have to save Mittens. They find find Mittens in a animal shed. Shatters, they set her free. The three friends are happy to be safe, but they still save the trouble a wrong way to find Penny. At last, they find, find where Penny is. The building is on fire. She is in danger. I know you will come. Bolt rescues Penny. Bolt doesn't have superpowers, but he really is a hero. 
Oh, everyone, I'm sorry. The, the, I'm go to the. 제가 어디로 가야 돼서 나머지 책은 내일 보일게요. 그럼 everyone, goodbye, everyone. Subscribe button and like button, please. Everyone, say goodbye.